Caritas Nigeria has celebrated her 13th anniversary of her existence as the charity arm of the Catholic Church in Nigeria. The celebration, which provided an opportunity for the charity organization to celebrate the 2023 Caritas Nigeria Day, had the theme Mainstreaming Climate Smart Principles and Practices Among Faith-Based Communities in Nigeria. City V News was there. Gathered in this beautifully decorated resource center of Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, CSN, are donor agencies, partners, and guests of Caritas Nigeria. They are here to celebrate the 13th anniversary of Caritas Nigeria and the 2023 Caritas Day. Addressing the guests, the Executive Secretary of Caritas Nigeria, Reverend Father Uche Chuku Obodoechina, highlighted some of the achievements of the charity organization for the past 13 years. Today, we are very happy that we are trying to showcase to our friends here that all these 13 years we have been working. In the great state of Northern Nigeria, since 2009, we have been heard about the insurgency. And people have been suffering state of Borono, Adamawa, and Yobe states. In Cross River State, we are dealing with over 11,500 wicked Marinian refugees in Nigeria. Days ago, we went to one of the Nigerian prisons, the National Center here in Suleja, to discover the number of men and women there, the youthful population. Some were there for the past one year, two years, for offenses ranging with a fine of 5,000 naira, 10,000 naira. So somebody is serving a jail term for two years because he's unable to pay 15,000 naira. Giving to those in need is a debt that we all must pay. And this is because the resources we have as individuals and corporate bodies are resources that God made available in the universe. If they are not created, you and I will have nothing. But when God created these resources, He created them for all His creatures, even those yet unborn. And according to God's plan, no one should live in poverty. There were goodwill messages from donor agencies and funders. It's been an honor working with Caritas Nigeria for the past couple of years. We have been good partners. We have been engaged in projects across Nigeria. I wish you many more years and many more successes. As you know, we partner on uh, many projects and programs and you can uh, remain assured that CRS will always be by your side. Thank you for your many commitment to the community. We wish Caritas Nigeria continued success in the program for all your future members. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Everyone is impacted by the effects of climate change. We have a responsibility to do something. And it is not a matter to leave to the government or special agencies. 30 years ago, I can say that a uh, lot has been achieved by this um, church, and uh, the church as a local church. The core mandate of the church that Jesus said he has come to give back and his fullness. And therefore, for this game, for this elite, for this form of the church, to continue to give his fullness of life to every human being. There were presentation of gifts to indigent women in the community. High point of the celebration was the cutting of the 13th anniversary cake amidst cheers. <laughs> Sustaining the environment, the women will start from home because as we say and as we know, charity begins at home. So from the home, you inculcate that culture from your children to ensure that they keep their environment clean. Cleanliness is, as we know, is next to godliness. So we ensure that we keep our environment, our surroundings, our homes clean. And then from there, we take it out to the public. Once we inculcate that habit of cleanliness in our families, we, the, uh, our children we grow up to take it up from there and then ensure that the environment is safe 
not just for them, but for other people around them and for the society as, at large. Uh, my message to Caritas as they celebrate 13 years anniversary, uh, congratulations once again to Caritas Nigeria and congratulations to all of us who have been invited for this program. But I call on Caritas again that uh, we have been talking about youth, we have been talking that youth have been neglected in the church. But I think it is a time whereby the Caritas, aside from giving them job, directly employing them, I, I suggest that even if space, there are no space where they can employ them, but uh, I think there are space where they can co-opt, like volunteers, where they will work. So we we'll pray that that very particular avenue, this avenue where we have discussed a lot of issues concerning Laudato to see, that should step down to parishes. That is from the provincial structure down to diocese and then dinari to parishes. In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.